I'm celebrating National Roller Coaster Day with an afternoon at Thorpe Park with the express aim of riding the UK's best roller coaster, Hyperia. But will I be successful? And how does Thorpe Park handle the August summer holiday crowds? Let's drop into the island like no other to find out. Oh, well, hello from Thorpe Park. It's National Roller Coaster Day. So I thought I'd swing by here on my way back from Wales to hopefully get a ride on the best roller coaster in the UK. Unfortunately, Hyperia's closed. So I'm going to go and investigate the situation over there, see if it's likely to open. Otherwise, we've got some not too bad queues for the likes of Swarm and Walking Dead. So those are options too. But I just wanted to highlight that Thorpe Beach is now open behind me. So that's great to see, especially on a lovely hot day like this. Well, as you can see, the news is not good. So staff are saying it is down for a very extended delay. It may possibly open again before the end of the day. So the park is open until 7 p.m. tonight. It's currently about half past three. So fingers crossed it might open five, six-ish. So I'm gonna hang around, get on a few other bits. Um, Swarm's on a 20 minute queue, Walking Dead's on 15. So I'm gonna go and hit those, maybe do Rush, and then we'll see what the uh, situation with the Hyperia is. You know, considering we're in a height of the summer holidays, the queue times are not too bad here at all today. 35 minutes on Nemesis Inferno, which is very reasonable. Uh, I've been here on off-peak days to see that rocking an hour. The Stealth is currently on 15, so that's where I'm gonna head first because it's my second favorite ride here. So why not, eh? And there we have it, 15 minute queue for stealth. That is surprisingly good for a summer holiday day. So let's go join the queue. And this is of course now the fastest accelerating launch in the world, not to 80 miles an hour in 1.8 seconds, which is punchy. Well, Stealth is still one of the best roller coasters here at Thorpe Park. There it goes. And that launches to something else. And of course, it's over in about 10 seconds. But when the queue's only 15 minutes, which I have to say is exceptionally good operations for a busy day like today. It's, it's very busy on park, but they are absolutely flying the trains out. So yeah, really impressed with Thorpe Park's operations today. Obviously we hope Hyperia is going to open before the end of the day, but um, yeah, so far so good. Really warm day here, so uh, I'm going to get around and get on a few other bits and pieces. Although I've got to be honest, that queue moves so quickly that I am tempted to go and do stealth again, but I shall resist for now. Let's go and explore, shall we? Oh, we have some live music. So I'm heading into the Thought Park safe zone for Walking Dead the Ride. This is on a 20 minute rate, although I'm gonna go and do the single rider queue just to see if that's any quicker, because it might be. And I've got live actors roaming today, so that always makes it a little bit more intense. Well, that was an interesting experience on Walking Dead there. So let's talk about what happened the first time round. So, did the usual thing you have the um, sort of the holding area where they have a little video and then you go through into the sort of the main queue like all in the dark lots of people screaming at nothing as they do um, then as you come up to where the station was it was sort of blocked off so the group kind of kept going and ended up into the sort of the cafe section which is part of the exit line a staff member then pointed to um, to a door we went through that and ended up in the exit so a whole group of us just walked the entire queue line without riding the roller coaster, which was interesting. But in terms of the main ride, it's quite good. I still think I prefer X in its kind of ravey laser iteration. But what they've done with it's not too bad. I mean, you've got kind of some theming and some zombies, a bit where you stop and it kind of feigns that you're not going to be able to restart the train again. And there's zombies clawing at some windows, which aren't massively convincing, but it does at least add something to the experience, I guess. And then as you exit, it's kind of a little maze to get out. Um, there are no live actors that I saw in there today, but there you go, on the whole, pretty good. Lots of rides seems to have gone down during that experience though. So Swarm's down, Nemesis Inferno said it was down, but I've just seen it go round. So perhaps it's testing again. So I'm gonna do Rush, cause it's on a 15 minute wait. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> that was a really short cycle. For all the faffing around that we had there with uh, restraint locks, restraint unlocks, restraint locks again, sat there for about five minutes, and then I reckon we maybe got one full swing. Hmm, bit of a shame that. I mean, I love Rush. It's, it's a fantastic flat ride, one of the most thrilling here and one of the more intimidating, but they could really do with running longer cycles than that, I think. So I first look at some of the fight nights prep here. They've got the uh, Stitches Maze being constructed currently. Will you be down here for fright nights? Well, the news we've been waiting for, Hyperia is open. I think I know where I'm spending the rest of the evening. Well, Hyperia is indeed back open, but I thought I'd play things tactically because it is on a 70 minute queue. It's currently six o'clock so I thought I'd come and grab a bite to eat and get some drink first so I'm fully charged up when I get into the queue line and then you know they should run it past uh, past ride close hopefully so I'm gonna munch these and then jump in that queue line for a final ride of the day on the UK's best roller coaster here on National Roller Coaster Day but Granny's Apple Fries first. So the consequence of Hyperia opening is that everyone has legged it over there and rise like swarm and stealth and our walk on. So I'm gonna try and knock a couple off and then get into the Hyperia queue about half six. Always great to get back on the swarm, left hand side that time. So a bit of wing under action. I think it's the first time of the season I've done the left side there. Um, there was a bit of a delay there um, coming back into the station. I don't know what was going on with the train in front, but we were stacked on the brake run for quite some time. So consequently, it is now 25 past six, and I'm not going to risk the Hyperia queue line closing. So I'm going to head all the way over to the other side of the park now and celebrate National Roller Coaster Day with a ride on the UK's number one roller coaster. The can 546 is faulty. Look at it leaking in my bag and now it's about half full. This costs seven quid. It's an ale pail. It, it's, it's not even that nice to be honest. It's like... Taste it now. There you go. You, you, you taste it now. Vlog on vlog. I'd, I'd turn you that's around. A, that's an ale, not a lager. What's it like, Paul? It's an ale. Is that Foster's? No, <laughs> it's not. So in the station for Hyperia, it's seven o'clock. It's going to be the last ride of the day. And look who I bumped into! It's oh, Mr. Coaster Crazy! I don't feel my air, I'm sweating, it's so hot. No, no, no. <laughs> it's so hot today. Um, yeah, National Roller Coaster Day. I don't know if you mentioned it in this vlog or not. A couple of times. But the park is now actually closed, so we've got to enter the queue line. We'll get one last ride on it. Hyperia, let's go. Let's go. Well, finishing the day with a front row on Hyperia and that was bloody awesome. Absolutely worth waiting all day to get that ride. So good at the front. The hang you get as you come over the drop is so intimidating. Every single element delivers apart from the splashdown, which should have been something else really. Yeah, really, really good. This is comfortably the best ride in the UK and the best ride to ride on National Roller Coaster Day. And I did it in the front row with Andy from Coaster Crazy. So, all fun. <sighs> Let's get outside the park and we'll have a little chat. Well, what a lovely evening it is here at Thorpe Park. Just been for a drink with a couple of the guys. And you know what? I almost didn't come today. It was a really last minute decision to come to Thorpe Park. I was down in Wales, I was coming on the way back on the M4. I thought, you know what? It's National Roller Coaster today. I'm gonna to pop to Thorpe Park for a few hours. I'm glad I did, because it's been fantastic. Operations today have been really good. One thing I've noticed I didn't mention earlier in the video, is they've actually added dispatch audio to a lot of rides. So Rush has got dispatch audio, Swarm has got dispatch audio, all new stuff. So yeah, Thorpe Park, definitely the best Merlin Park operating this season by quite a distance, I think. So sorry, sorry I've, oh, got, I've got people jumping hello, in. Hello, hello. Oh, Andy's come to tell you to subscribe to my channel because um, obviously that he's, has to happen. He's told me today that he doesn't want to collaborate with uh, really big theme park YouTubers. <laughs> so get comments in down below. Would you like to see more of Coaster Crazy in the vlogs? It might not happen because we're both busy guys. And um, yeah, we've had a good day, haven't we? 
We have, yeah. It's been awesome. I, I love Thorpe Park. I think this is the best season they've had for a long time. Would you Definitely. agree with that? Definitely. Yeah. It, yeah. And the high pier is awesome, isn't it? That so front row good. is awesome. Oh, it? incredible. That was so good. One of the best coasters I've ever been on. That I'll leave really you good. to it, mate. Nice See one. Cheers, dude. Don't forget to subscribe. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to leave it there for today. The um, go and watch another video. I've got so many Hyperia opening day videos. Go and watch one of those because Hyperia is the best coach in this country by a mile. And I will catch you soon. Cheers. Bye.